Welcome to the 2011 IBS Best of Show. I'm Paul Cardis, producer of AvidBuilder.com, the industry's number one resource for in-depth reporting of the leading housing trends. In this segment, we'll take you to Orlando, Florida, the site of this year's International Builders Show, to present you the top 10 most intriguing products in housing. Our team, led by industry veteran Bill Lurz, scoured the show floor seeking the best products. He was joined by consultants Clark Ellis, principal of the Continuum Group, and Jason Forrest of J. Forrest Group to research hundreds of booths to find the very best. The team uncovered smog eating roof tiles, the likely replacement to the common nail, computerized sales software that amazes, and two solar technologies that are sure to revolutionize the housing industry, plus so much more. Hi, I'm Bill Lurz of AvidBuilder.com. I'm here at the International Builder Show in Orlando with Dan Pizolt of Dow Solar, who's come up with a very innovative product which combines a solar panel and an ordinary roof shingle. Dan, tell us more about this. Thanks, Bill. As you said, this is the new Dow Powerhouse solar shingle. And what we've done is it's the first building integrated uh, photovoltaic uh, roofing shingle that's de been designed to integrate seamlessly with composite asphalt shingled roofs. And as you can see in the process, delivers an aesthetic that's really unmatched in the industry. How is it installed? It's a great question. The way that this, this product has been designed specifically to allow the existing trades that are working either in a new construction or in a re-roofing type of environment to install the product. What that means is this shingle has been in, designed so that a roofing contractor will install it. Swinging hammers, hitting nails. The electrical wiring on the roof has been eliminated. Instead, when the roofer has, has completed the installation on the roof, he feeds down a, an electrical harness through the roof and the electrician meets the system underneath the roof deck. So what we've really developed is a product that allows the existing trades to work in their existing environment rather than introducing new trades on top of the roof or below. But this, uh, there's, there's some barriers to the adoption of solar in terms of the marketplace and its, its willingness to accept. And I think this product has some uh, solutions to those problems. Can oh, you absolutely. articulate that? I mean, the way that we look at the market and what's really held the market back has been um, really distilled down to, to four factors. You've had the aesthetic issue, the, um, the look of the traditional um, panel type systems up on the roof. You've had concerns about the cost of the technology, the, the overall complexity of installing these systems and the warranty concerns of, for the roof after, once it's been installed. We talked an awful lot about the installation process and how this product simplifies both the, 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 that, that complexity that has existed as well as the fact that with existing trades working in their existing environment, that warranty concern is, is alleviated. You can see from the aesthetics, we've really delivered something that, that we've, we feel is unmatched. So then that final issue is, is the cost factor. And we've talked about the simplification of the installation process, and, you, and we should also talk about the, um, the incentives that are available for solar now, um, including the federal tax credit, um, state rebate programs, utility rebate programs that are making solar more affordable than ever in addition to the fact that this product has been designed for mass production and we're going to drive costs down in, in that way as well. And people can actually walk on these shingles, is that right? Oh, absolutely. The product's been designed to be extremely durable. The rooftop's a pretty tough um, service environment, um, both during the installation process, a contractor might drop a hammer, certainly has to withstand that. But once installed, it also has to be tough enough to, to stand up to, to wind, to rain, to hail, yeah. all kinds of environmental conditions. And uh, you mentioned the, the, uh, the cost issue. Now, I understand also that this product is not available in the marketplace just yet. It's going to be mid-year before the builders will be able to go out and buy this. And that I'm, I'm guessing that your pricing is not yet completely in place for it, but you can talk about whether or not this product will work for builders in uh, lower priced housing. Oh, absolutely. Like I said, 
you know, both with the incentives that are in place as well as the overall design of the product itself and, and the fact that it's been designed for mass production. You know, we're, we're quite confident that this product is going to compete with um, both building integrated technologies to start as well as the, the more traditional panel type technologies in the future. So, um, so certainly. And then in, in the installation process, um, how does it connect through to the electrical supply in the, uh, in the house below the roof? Exactly. We've, uh, on the roof, we've developed a very innovative touch safe uh, connector that the roofer utilizes and, and is, is, is uh, permitted to install on the roof. And when they get to the end of a string of these shingles, they would plug in the final of those plug style connectors and they would feed an electrical harness down through the roof and the electrician would meet the system underneath. So it's basically um, user friendly to the roofers and also to the electrician, nothing uh, out of the ordinary required of either one. Exactly. We're, we're, we're utilizing the existing trades in the existing environment that they're accustomed to work. Thanks, Dan. And this is Bill Lurz at the International Builders Show in Orlando.